is remembering the life of a teenage girl killed earlier this week in a brutal double murder suicide. Today, friends and family gathering for 15 year old Jenna Hewitt's funeral. Jenna was shot and killed Sunday morning in a South Charlotte home. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lumberg has been following this story all week. She's reporting live at five for us. Rachel, this has been another emotional day for loved ones. A really tough day, Fred. People have been arriving to this church, Harrison United Methodist Church, that's just behind me. And actually, the front doors of the church just closed. There was a meet and greet for about an hour and a half, and at five o'clock, so right now, the funeral was supposed to start. And I did hear some music start to play in the background. As you said, though, just a really somber and sad week and a day. This rather weather really mimicking what people are probably feeling right now. Classmates to Jenna Hewitt walked into Ardrey Hell High today in all black. Some laid flowers around the school sign in her memory. The school's rock is also now painted purple. The color of domestic violence with the words fly high Jenna on the side. Medic, uh, okay, stay on the shot at my home. Sunday morning, Jenna was sleeping at her friend Kate Chaplin's house. Both students at Ardrey Kell. When a guy who Kate met on Instagram showed up with a gun. 23 year old John Bosick shot and killed 15 year old Jenna Hewitt and Kate's dad, 51 year old Matthew Chaplin, before turning the gun on himself. We ran into the closet. Uh, he then proceeded to shoot her and then shot himself. The lone survivor, 16 year old Kate Chaplin, spoke with NBC Charlotte two days after her friend and father were killed. He was. He was after people close to me. Kate described Bosick as somebody who wanted to date her but couldn't handle the rejection. A local advocate for domestic violence survivors, Lisa Verrier Christie, shared how these situations can escalate. One thing may be may lead to another and it can become a dangerous situation almost immediately. In this case, an innocent bystander, a friend, a daughter, and sister now gone too soon. And we know the funeral service is taking place right now for Jenna. We don't know how long it will last, but there is a reception open to the public following it. Reporting live in Pineville, I'm Rachel Lundberg, NBC Charlotte. Rachel, thank you. And